school kids here in America. Lalo na po kung uh, tayo ay mga Filipino immigrants coming from the Philippines with different Filipino values. How do you raise kids here? We've talked about this on the show, but 30 minutes is always not enough, never enough. And so today we have another very special show for you. Pag-uusapan po natin pa paano ba magpalaki ng mga anak dito sa America. We have our special guest this afternoon. Gail Lafreniere is a licensed uh, marriage and family therapist. You've seen her before on the show. Hello and welcome back Hello, to Kababayan LA. Thank you. Thank you for And me. first time on Kababayan LA, our super parents for today, they will be sharing their stories with us this afternoon. Attorney Goss Mora has raised three successful uh, kids, uh, children. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello. It's nice to be here. And yeah. Miss Rocio Nuida, ang aking pong uh, paboritong tita. <laughs> Siya po ay, she's raised uh, five wonderful and very successful kids. But my first question is, you know, when we say successful, what is the definition of success for you? Let's start with Rocio. Okay, uh, successful kids, in my mind, are children of good moral and upright character. It's not just uh, them being able to successfully uh, pursue a career, a professional career, but at the same time, they team that up with good moral values. Mm -hmm. And so I think, uh, uh, based on that, you know, I am proud to say that I've raised, in my mind, uh -huh. because maybe I'm biased, <laughs> I've raised five uh, successful children who have pursued uh, uh, their individual careers. Tell me about, tell us about your kids, yeah. your children. Well, my, my, my mm -hmm. eldest, I have five kids, as I said, my eldest is Hermel, mm -hmm. uh, fondly called Trig, and he is by profession a nurse. Uh, he finished his bachelor's in nursing, uh, pursued a master's degree in nursing, and now works for Kaiser permanently as the nursing administrator or manager for the nursing uh, unit or department of the hospital. He's followed by my second son, mm -hmm. uh, Robert Jr., and he works for Toshiba as the purchasing manager. He's a family man of two kids, mm -hmm. happily married, okay. followed by my middle child, mm -hmm. who's Carlene, Carlene Nuida Calloway, and she's pursued a career in fashion design, so she's a designer. She runs and owns her own bridal salon in okay. Sherman Oaks. Mm -hmm. She, too, is a mother of uh, two kids, two young girls, married to a Caucasian, mm -hmm. just like my son, Robert. Mm -hmm. Followed by my fourth child, and his name is Clinton, uh -huh. Clinton Nuida. Clinton pursued a career in culinary, mm -hmm. so he's a sous chef at one of the restaurants in Studio City. And then my youngest is a full-time housewife. Mm -hmm. You know, the baby of the family is Christine Nuida Murphy, mother to three children. She just recently gave birth to her third child. My second grandson, okay. also married to a, a, a Caucasian, uh -huh. and they live in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, the husband is a PGA golfer. Okay, all right. So successful for you, all these five kids, successful in terms of their career, but also uh, were brought up with good uh, morals. What about you, Attorney Mora? Um, tell us about your kids and what is success for you. My, my first uh, son is Mark. Uh, he's 31 years old, and right now he's a store manager for uh, Golf Pro Shops, uh, which is a subsidiary of uh, Roger Dunn Golf Shops in Pleasanton, uh, Northern California. And he's married. Uh, he has one, uh, one son. Okay. Who is eight months old. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the latest addition to our family. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second one is Matthew. He's 29 years old. And, uh, He's also in the golf uh, manufacturing I see business. a common denominator with yes. Lucia, golf, okay, <laughs> and, and, uh, and I'll, I'll and tell you the reason why. Uh, they are both in the golf business uh -huh. uh, later on. And uh, he's still a bachelor, uh -huh. but he's going to be married next year. Wow, engaged. Yeah, engaged. Okay, third? Engaged to be married. And the third one is Mary Rose, mm -hmm. my only daughter. Mm -hmm. She's 26, and she's married. Uh, and uh, she she has one uh, child. Okay, and my what first is first grandchild? Okay, what is success for you? My s success for me is uh, I have offered them mm -hmm. uh, a good education. Mm -hmm. They accepted the offer. They availed themselves of the opportunity, and they they're done done with it. 
and they love what they're doing right now. So success so, is loving, loving what they're doing. Loving Gail, what they're doing. Gail, is that a good um, basis for success as a, a therapist, licensed therapist? What is success? Yeah, I, I think that that success really encompasses everything that both our parents said, which would be the good moral character in the education. But I also think it really makes a difference when you're involved with your kids, mm -hmm. which it sounds to me like both of you had made a big effort to be involved in their affairs. Which is a very difficult thing to do, especially with yes. us in America. We're always so busy here. And we're going to be talking about that, how to make time for your kids when we return on the show. Don't go away. Ang programang ito ay handog sa inyo ng US Bank. We're proud to serve California.